Good morning. Just wait for it to do its thing. You know how it goes, guys. You know how it goes. Hello, how are you? <coughs> I thought I would jump on this morning. Um, we have some shifts and changes today. You still have time to... Well, it's, I suppose it's been like not, uh, 11 hours. You know what? Just still write your list. How can you try and put more joy and play and fun into your life with this Leo? Because the moon's still in Leo. So that's... Um, that is lovely. So sit down for a little bit and think about, I mean, what do you enjoy doing? Good morning, Eden. How are you? So yeah, think about the things that you like doing and how can you implement them more in your life? Even if it's just, I don't know, kicking a ball around the yard with your kids or coloring in. I mean, there's so many amazing coloring in books out there. You can zen out while still being childlike. So stuff like that. All right, now we do have a couple of shifts today. So firstly, we have Venus moving into Virgo. Good morning, Karen. Venus moves into Virgo at 12.23 p.m. lunchtime. And so this is going to look like Le Venus in Leo. It's so good. You know, she's had her crown on. She's been confident and, you know, good morning, Heather. Good morning, Alicia. So yeah, um, you know, she's been confident, she's been doing her thing, straighten that crown, ladies, and don't forget that it's on your head. However, now with Venus in Virgo, Venus is going to go into more of a analytical, um, health-orientated version of herself. So Virgo is very daily healthcare rituals, all right? So you might just fall in love with your daily uh, routine a little bit more. Um, do better things for yourself, like focus on diet, exercise, um, skincare routines, I don't know, uh, declutter your wardrobes, getting ready for when Venus moves into Libra, where you then replenish your wardrobes. So go through all your, your undie drawers, get rid of all the ones with holes in them, <laughs> get rid of all the socks with holes, clothes that you haven't worn for ages, go get rid of that stuff donate it, I don't know, make rags, whatever, you know, so now is the time to, you know, do that and analysis of yourself, so that's really good, I like that one, um, and then, and then the big one, guys, Mercury goes retrograde at 256, so, I mean, it is very stationary right now, um, and I've told you plenty of times, when a planet is stationary, either retrograde or direct, that's when it's most problematic. It's that magnifying glass just heightening that stuff. So you can still back your stuff up, but make sure... Good morning, Selena. Make sure you just pay attention to the details with everything. Because Mercury and Venus are also conjunct as well. So it's just, it's just amplifying, you know. So, I mean... In, in a way, because Mercury is retrograding in Virgo, it's a time where pay attention to any of the signs and symptoms that your body is making. Um, you know, you might be getting niggles or anything like that. So it's time to, I don't know, visit a chiropractor, <clears throat> see a naturopath, a nutritionalist, I don't know, any of those type of things. Um, so that was at 2.56 for Mercury retrograde and 12.23 for Venus in Virgo. So the moon in Leo today is, um, right now it is in conjunct Saturn. So you may not want to be doing the, um, you may not want to follow your normal routine. <laughs> you may just like go, fuck it, I'm going to do something else. Beck. <laughs> <laughs> all right so now um all right a couple of other things with the moon all right it's still a very vibrant moon in the words i was like pay attention not only to the things that bring you joy but think about why these bring up these feelings all right so again this you know we've moved from this yay let's have fun leo stuff with our personal planets now to Virgo. All right, I've had some fun. Now I need to get serious, all right? So Mercury and Venus in Virgo. Now that moon in Leo um, is going to trine Chiron, all right? So the fact that the in conjunct to Saturn is like, I don't fucking wanna. And then the trine to Chiron, there's this, there is a, you know, there's a sensitive 
healing aspect, it's a trine. So if you do sit down and do that analysis about what actually do I want, why do I want this joy back in my life, because you're analysing the feelings, then it's heading towards a healing opportunity. <coughs> Later in the day, the moon also comes up to square Uranus. All right, so maybe with that analysis, you have a realisation that that might not just sit comfortably, but careful with the Virgo not to get self-critical. All right, it is okay to change. All right, so that 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 Uranus in Taurus is going to then be ruled by Venus in Virgo. All right, so um, so you, maybe you're just not feeling the joy, and that is making you feel depressed. All right, because there is a certain amount of you know, we go from a high to a low. So not, not, not like a bipolar high to low, but, you know, that, that abundance of joy. Because, I mean, the, um, because the sun is still there, but the moon is moving away as well. So that didn't make sense. Just, just avoid that. Because the moon doesn't move into Virgo until 7.18 tomorrow morning. So, but anyway, you can see what I'm sort of trying to say. We've got these highs that we need to think about and then we can we can then implement the details later. Good morning, Kathy. Oh my God, that was so funny. I was in town in Penrith yesterday and all I could think of was that earworm. <laughs> oh, so funny. Thank you for sending me that. All right. Um, <clears throat> now that that's pretty much it. So the you know, the sun is sextile Jupiter, there's some joviality in the air. That's really nice. Mercury coming up to conjunct Venus. When is that exact? Oh, mm, when is Mercury conjunct Venus? Uh, why, on Thursday. All right, so Venus, Mercury retrograde conjunct Venus moving forward. So our thoughts and feelings, our thoughts and our good feelings, you know, that that's self-worth is, is moving towards each other. So the detailed analysis of your daily routine is going to be able, you can impart more self-care. So you can sort of, if you can see that. Um, um, what else? That's pretty much, oh, actually, so that's not it. All right. So later on, it's more later in the evening. All right. Um, like I was saying, that square to Uranus is later. Well, Venus is in conjunct both. Neptune and Pluto, all right, because Neptune and Pluto are sextile, so this is a yod, this is one of those fingers of God with, you know, the universe pointing in a very specific direction, all right, and it's Venus who is moving into Virgo, so it is, it's really a great time for you just to sit down and analyze in conjunction with the fact that you can still probably get some Leo New Moon wish lists out there, just just utilize this day to sort of just sit down and go, you know, how am I feeling right now? Where am I at? What do I want? What do I want to get rid of? In in with the how am I feeling? Am I ignoring a sign or symptom in my body <clears throat> that I need to address? Is a pain that you're having getting stronger? Um, or is it just you're very aware of the, the length of something that has been affecting you? So, um, so yeah, that, that, do it, do it now. And also Venus is trying Hygieia. So there's all of these self-care medical impl um, um, implications is the word I was looking for. So yeah, very much a how am I feeling and what can I do about it type of day. So um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So my Monday night people, um, look, I've, I've just been in family mode and I haven't had a chance to do... I've got the week ahead words. I haven't had a chance to record anything. I please forgive me. I, like I said, I have been doing my self care and filling my cup. So, um, so no Monday night this week, and tomorrow I'll also be in transit. So no Tuesday accountability. So I'm really sorry about that. I'll try to make it up for you in another way. But um, yeah, I'm I'm filling my cup and I'm doing what I need. So I hope you can do the same thing. Um, reflect on love life and how you can get more of it in your world now and in your future so thank you guys um, have a great day and I will be back on Tassie soil tomorrow Mwah. see ya